Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. Today we are back working on our recovery ship because yeah, you guys want it out of career and you guys want me to just finish building this thing and so do I. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, we are just moving around here a little bit. Uh, yeah, got a couple of things I want to get done today. Uh, but other than that, we are going to be working on this, uh, I feel like full time now. Uh, and we can kind of get back to career when we need to, uh, which will be great. Uh, I've missed a paint section there. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this back. Let's get it back into the workbench. All right, perfect. One thing I did do, I can show you this, is I actually trimmed the back here. So our back sections look a little bit more ship-like. Is that the uh, the word we're looking for? But they're just not this, this flat back here. We can jump into the workbench and actually show you that as well. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that. So if we fly to the back here, you can see that they are, have been chopped a little bit. So they don't have this weird flat back section anymore. I feel like it looks a little bit better. It still sits good in the water. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, just something simple I did. Took care of that, got that worked out. Uh, I need to move this microcontroller. I think I've decided to move all my microcontrollers into this little section here. And we're just going to make this our server room. Uh, so what we can actually do is let's go ahead and grab some white block here. We'll move that up like that. We'll go ahead and close all this in. And we can officially dub this server room right there. And you know what? We'll go ahead and fill in this, uh, whatever this closet may be. And that should be a good little room there. Uh, we can just kind of do something like this for now. And then we can decide to put a door on it later. Yeah, I like that. I like these archways. There we go. Perfect. So now we got a little server room for all our little stuff here. If I delete these, does it, what does that expose? Nothing. We get rid of some of these blocks here? How about these? Okay, those are needed. But those other ones were not. So what we could do, do a little wedge like that. There we go, clean that room up. Perfect, there we go, nice. So I think what I wanna do here today is I actually wanna put some firefighting equipment on this thing. Uh, I got so much random paint here. Let's see, let's fix that, fix this. Was there anywhere else that went crazy with the paint? I think that was pretty good. All right, so let's get back up front here. Oh, there it is right there, same, same little spot. I don't know why these got painted black, doesn't make sense. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some cannons up front here. So let's go ahead and find I need to find the flat spot here. Is this the flattest spot? I think this is at the front of the boat. I think that's pretty good. Go ahead and paint that back up. Let's go get our fluid port. Fluid. You guys see it anywhere? Anywhere? It is right there. All right, so we got to raise this up just slightly because we're sitting on the bottom here. And then we can plop that in right there. Let's come inside here. We're going to go to blue since we're dealing with water. Let's go with, let's get our pipes here. Pipe, pipe. We'll take that pipe and we'll just go straight up with it. And then from here, we can find out where this actually comes out. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go to a straight piece. We can fill that back in. And now we kind of have spots for some cannons here. Uh, I could put these up closer to the front. Let's go get these guys. Cannon. Let's see what these look like. So that will actually fit right in there. So let's build up onto that. Where is this? And I gotta figure out which way that points. Oh, perfect. It already pointed the right way. So we can come in here and actually get rid of this. Build that up like that. We'll go ahead and get rid of that in there. We can build that up. These blocks can disappear. And now we just gotta get this pipe system to this pipe here, which shouldn't be a problem. Uh, that'll work pretty good. And I'm actually gonna put a hose here as well. So we can have a handheld as well, so we can have some more accuracy. If we're just down here and we don't have to run up there to use, say, our directional, uh, we can do it from down here, uh, which will be really nice. So let's go ahead and let's figure out this pipe here. So we're gonna delete all of this, delete that, why not? Go back to our pipes, we wanna angle this pipe. We're gonna turn that backwards like so, and I think right here we're gonna do the same thing, like that. Let's go ahead and get our regular pipe, and we're off by one, that's okay. We'll do like that, recopy that, put that in its place. There we go, we can delete that, put that there, and we need straight pipe. Did I actually grab it? I can't tell, there we go. So straight pipe across there, and now all that is piped up and it should have water. We don't need pumps on this yet, so we gotta figure that out. So let's come down here and let's get ourselves a pump. Pump, I'm using the large pumps for this. Uh, I want maximum power out of this, and let's see if I can remember what this is. That is the import. So if I do this right, if I delete that, and rotate it like this. Okay, I need something to build off of. The game did not like that. But what if I build off of that? Does that work? Okay, now it's too far forward. Okay, so we need to be back here. That doesn't make sense. No, let's try it again anyway. Yeah, okay, so pipe there. Why is this not working? Why is that, hmm. What if I rotate this way? Does that work? I think that works. Okay, so let's get this pipe in here like that. Okay, that actually worked. So then we just gotta elbow this. Let's go back to pipes. We'll bend that there. 
spin that there and let's come in here and get rid of all this extra crap that we put in don't need the extra blocks at all actually we can get rid of all of these also extra money we don't need to be paying for at all all right that should be good there uh let's do this somewhere in here i've got to figure out the handheld system that i want to do so if we do like this box this in let's get back in here so we can see how do i want to do this you know what let's uh let's do this let's go to fire equipment and we can do something like this i think this will be better we'll use these items here let's get a hose we'll use a hose in here come on hose like that hose like that then we'll get our connecting hose piece like that let's come in here we're gonna grab some pipes we need a t piece come on where is right there nope you had it you didn't want to connect there we go Got a straight piece in here now all that should be connected what we can also do i'm not using onboard water so that means we don't need a dial here we just need to be able to connect up and pump water out let's go ahead and make this blue keep things organized there we got blue for water i can't remember how these work these just automatically turn on when the pump turns on the problem i'm going to have here is that this is just always going to be shooting if i automatically turn this pump on but if i have a switch i also need to have a switch okay here we go let's do this toggle i think this will work toggle we'll turn this on this will turn our pumps on we'll also but see it's still going to squirt water it's still going to squirt water out the top if i turn this on initially maybe we need to move this down move this all the way down we'll get our t-piece back in there we'll get that connected like that and then maybe a valve we'll put here a valve valve manual no we want fluid on off now we've got this valve here and how is this going to work this turns on these guys so this switch needs to be toggle okay we'll take toggle who is going to be our fire marshal up here i feel like hmm i feel like this guy here is going to be our navigator so this guy here is going to be our fire marshal so we're just going to put two switches here we're going to call this left cannon left cannon i like all caps it looks cleaner in in these builds and we got right 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 cannon there we go this will connect to this valve if it'll let me and this one will connect to that valve let's get ourselves a constant on now we got a con oh come on let's get down here let's go to our server room server room is here okay and we've got a constant on and that can come to our pumps so these pumps will always be on uh so if we need to we can just run right up here we can grab water just like so from there use the pumps this way or if we're up in the bridge we should be able to turn on the switch for these which will just open the valve here because the pumps are already on uh and that should shoot water out of these guys now we got to control these up with the seat here so i think what i need is a function block uh, and let's go ahead and i'm gonna put these down in our server room and i need two of these i believe oh, where we are where are we where are we get mirror mode off here i'm just gonna go one and two like that uh the first thing i want to do is go into our our swivels here no that's nozzle turret swivel wait did they not have pitch anymore y'all ask servo control for the cannon pitch wait did it not say that i'm so confused turret swivel nozzle pitch okay I don't know why they've got to name it like that. It could be turret swivel and turret pitch or nozzle. Yeah, I don't, the pitch. I think I've already hooked these up wrong because I'm talking. Yup. Okay, get this off of here. So that's swivel. And then the other ones will be pitch like so. Now the seat, which does not have any controls on it. So we'll get rid of that. Let's get our aviator seat here, our compact pilot seat. Uh, we've got a little joystick here that we can now to utilize and we're going to have our look y and look x i don't remember which ones these do so we're just going to come straight down into this straight down into that and i think the math on these is x times four i could be wrong on this but i think this is where we're going with this i'm gonna put the same thing on the other side and if we have to adjust it we can uh let's spawn in and see all right we're spawning we're good we sit in the seat we can sit in the seat can't tell if stuff is okay no power on these okay we can we can go some infinite electric okay i feel like things are turning okay which way are they shooting okay that one is that one's working fine uh actually that's not working bad at all 
Uh, I'm not sure why that one's not doing anything. Um, hang on. Oh, oh, we're crossing the streams and they are inverted. Okay. So the one on the right side, I need to cut it and flip it. Other than that, these things are working pretty good now. Um, yeah, we can just put out a boat real quick. Okay. So let's, let's grab this. I needed to grab this one. We're gonna come over here. Let's cut it. Cut. I'm gonna hit U, which mirrors it. So now everything should be mirrored. And I've just screwed up by spawning. We'll let that spawn back in. We'll bring that back. We'll put that piece back and then we'll paste that piece, then merge it. Okay, now let's see how that works. Does that work? And up here we are. Let's get in our seat. Okay, we're gonna turn that on. Okay, so we got that pump. If we need more water, we've got that pump. Perfect, look at that. We could really put out a fire on a big boat here. Just dousing it. That's pretty good. So we can uh, we can kind of just maintain and put out a fire. I, I wish that these were a little closer together. I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm going to have to do some math to maybe bring these together so that we can uh, hopefully cross these streams a little bit so they're a little more accurate. So we're getting kind of doused with double water. But this is actually pretty good. So if there's more fire, we can actually just kind of swoosh it back and forth. So maybe I'll leave it like that. I don't know. It's kind of good. It keeps hitting our lights here. Maybe I'll do something with our lights for these guys and maybe move these guys forward a little bit so we can actually aim down. Let's grab this real quick. Is there anything that we can do with these lights? Can we move these lights back into... Hang on. Let's see if we can slide back and forth here. Okay, we could go backwards. Uh, does that mean that we can grab these guys again and put them back where they were? Because that would be awesome. We'll cut those out. Come on, come on. Slide you down like that. Perfect. Paste. Delete these. Delete that. Merge these. Okay, now can this come forward some more? It could come into this slot here. That wouldn't be too terrible. Okay, let's mirror mode. And let's bring it to this slot here. So I'm going to actually copy or cut these out. We're gonna cut this. We're going to cut this. I'm gonna cut all the stuff underneath there. Perfect, okay. We'll cut that, move that forward. I don't know what happened there, paste, okay. Delete, delete, delete. We'll fix that block, merge these guys in. I still think I'm gonna keep this, this extra distance here. That's not bad. Um, we'll do this. Let's connect these back up into here. Now we'll need a T section, which we've got right here. Control click, we'll get that. And there we go. Now our system is still set up here. So let's round this off. Just to smooth that out a little bit. Yeah, I like that. That looks pretty good. I dig that. These should be able to shoot a little bit better and not hit the lights as bad. Uh, and hopefully we can take care of some stuff. I didn't test out the actual... Okay, hang on. Let's let's bring it back in. I did cut some pipes and move things around. Let's go ahead and make sure this actually works. Okay, let's get in. Oh, oh let's get in here. Get in here. Boom, boom. Okay, water is still shooting. If I get out of the seat, what does it do? It just continues to shoot. Okay, be expected. Now we can come down here. Let's grab a hose. Let's connect up and hit B. No, R. I thought it was B. Didn't it used to be B? Did they change that or is that just me? That might just be me. So yeah, so now we could have somebody up here in the seat. They could be fighting a fire as well as you be down here uh, hitting the, uh, the trouble spots. Uh, so wait, can we not... Somebody said something about not being able to jump. Okay, we can jump forward. Like, I I'm noticing that we, we have a problem jumping forward. Okay, so if you jump forward and then try to hit W, it doesn't work anymore. You have to physically be running to jump. And I noticed a lot of you in my comments were saying that as well, about the jump being really weird all of a sudden. Yeah, you because that's when I was stuck down in the, the lower. Yeah, I'm jumping and then hitting forward and it's not even working. Yeah, I feel like that used to work. So now you got to run and then jump. So if you don't have space to run, then you're not jumping. That kind of sucks. Okay, so this is all rounded off. This works. Let's test our other side here just for consistency. Uh, this should work. Perfect. There it goes. We can wash the boat off. It's dirty. Come on and store that hose. Cool. All right, so we've got some equipment here. I feel like this, this is not the only place that we need firefighting equipment. Uh, this is a big boat, and I feel like maybe somewhere in here would be a good spot too to maybe come and grab... Uh, this actually feels like a really good spot at the end of the smokestack here. This could be a firefighting station uh, with hoses that could come back here. Maybe if the helicopter lands and it's on fire, uh, that could be uh, taken care of. You know what? It is getting dark in game. Let's fix this. Let's fix that. There we go. Now you guys can see what I'm talking about. Uh, so probably have a firefighting system here. That could be pretty good. Uh, especially if you're in here, you could run out. You can run to here. If you're up here, you can run down and run to here. If you're in here for some reason, you can run out and run to... Yeah, I feel like this is a good spot for it. So let's turn this little spot here into a firefighting zone. All right, so let's go ahead and 
delete this little section here. We're gonna need to go down. Okay, what can I go through? This side over here, perfect. We'll cut through this little spot here. Let's go back to pipes. Pipes, pipes, pipes. We'll get a straight piece. And then we'll go back to blue, since you guys like it, the color coding. And then we'll just come straight down like that. And then, easy enough, let's cut the bottom out, cut the bottom there. Put another white block there. Let's grab our fluid ports. Apparently it is singular. There we go, we'll put that there. Let's go ahead and paint that all up. Uh, we need to grab a pump. I cannot spell today. Pump, there we go. This is the one we're going for again, so I'm gonna delete these. And I can just go ahead and set that in there like that. And we need to get our angled pipes. So we'll get this one there and one there. Uh, our constant on, we had a constant on for our other pumps, wherever that is. Hang on, where's the server room? Server room's here. We'll grab that constant on and we're gonna do the same thing to these pumps here. Now those have water attached and then we can come up to here. We got our pipes, we'll come back, angle it. And then we need the port. Nope, we need hose. There we go, hose. That can go like that. And then we'll fill the rest of this in like that. And then we need the actual hose. So we'll grab a couple of these. And this is now our secondary firefighting station. Uh, I think I'm gonna take this out and put a fire extinguisher. Words, words, fire. There we go, fire extinguisher here. But for some reason, the pump gets damaged. We still have a backup system like, like right there. Uh, that works pretty good. I can put some indicator. We'll put some indicators in here. Maybe some lights to kind of light this area up uh, since this is a fire zone. Maybe what we do is we go into the paint and we start blocking some of the stuff off. Like, I don't want you standing here because that is a fire zone. And we can do the same thing up here. We'll just kind of come up here and this will be a, a safety zone. Anything up here, you don't want to block this zone because this is an area that you need to get to for fire and rescue. Cool. Uh, do we make our stairs yellow? For safety. Safety yellow on the stairs. What do you guys think? Safety yellow on the stairs. I've already started doing it, so I might as well keep it. Okay, we're gonna do it. Safety yellow on the stairs there. Safety yellow here. Just enough to kind of bring attention to not not busting. Not busting as you fall here. You know what's one thing I noticed? We don't have a way to get back up on this boat if we fall off. How do I want to get back up here? I guess what we could do is right back here, we'll do a ladder. And we can do this at the back of the boat, and we'll do it right here on this little corner. Actually, let's move it over one. And what I can do is put some indicator lights down the sides. Oh, we can't put the ladder there because of our position here. So what if we move it forward? Will that let us do it? Ah, oh, no, still. How do we do this? Put indent the ladder. We come back to like here. That's not bad. It does work. I can do like that. And then we do like this. And that goes like that. That's not terrible. I think I'm gonna move them over one more just because of what I have in mind here. So we'll do that. Let's get ladders again. I think I want them here. That's gonna be indicator lights. That's gonna be indicator lights. So I can delete that. No, hang on, hang on. Delete that. This goes like this. I had it all set up in my mind. It was all in my mind and it, and it, it, it was right. And then I'd move things around. All right, so that'll go like that. This will be the indicator block row. This will be that row. So we can fill this back in. That can go like that. Uh, I do not know what happened there. Hang on. Oh, that's a lot of bl extra blocks. We'll go back down like that. That gets filled in. Rotate that around this off. We're getting there, we're getting there. And that goes like that. Okay, and then, this is what I was talking about with the indicator lights. So then we come in here, indicators, indicators, indicator lights. And then we'll just put these guys, do they drag? No, they don't. Um, we're gonna put these guys right here next to our ladder and then when we turn our navigation lights on These guys will automatically come on and we'll just paint these orange and that'll be a good indicator of when it's really dark back here You'll be able to see you'll be able to see the ladder uh, So what we'll do is we'll go orange and then we want to do the additive and zoop. There we go There we go. Now we've got some safety lights here on the back. Uh, I like that So this railing has to be deleted and I think we'll just I want to do this I could do a railing here. Wait, let's get a railing. Railing, there is a corner piece that has an end segment. This one, will be that one, and then that one can go into that one. Yeah, perfect. And then this one has a piece like this. Okay, you to reverse it, because it didn't fit. And there we go. So now that's nice and clean there. I like that. That's really cool. That looks good. Honestly, I feel like I can even come back this way with some of this railing, maybe like there. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it like that. Uh, that does work. That's that's nice. We do have a way to 
uh, get back up on the boat here. Let's try this. Okay, so we're gonna jump in the water. Yeah, we're in the water. And I get to this ladder. Ooh, it's close. Ooh, that's gonna be tough. We did get it though. We did get it. And I feel like the engines, they were sitting lower in the water earlier. I don't know. Maybe when we put some more fuel in this thing, it'll sink. Okay, so that works. Let's come test our fire equipment here and see how that works. Does this work? And we hose off the boat here. Yeah, so cool. There we go. So now we can actually fight fires back here. Uh, so that's perfect. How far does our hose go? We can come all the way back. We've got the ability to fight off the back of the boat here now. That's good. Cool. So fire systems are in. I do want to have a little storage area. We need something in here. It's kind of a quick, quick area for equipment. And I feel like, is this the back door? Yeah, so we're going to be able to come running in here. So I feel like one of these needs to be an equipment room. Very bottom floor. We've got the ability to come in here, grab equipment, welders, things like that. And then you can come in here and repair the server room. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to turn one of these into an equipment room. Let's come inside here. Where are we? Here we are. And I feel like the door is going to open. One, two, three. So we'll skip one. And then these will be our door here. Bring that to the ceiling. We'll bring this to the ceiling here. I'll bring that there. And we'll probably, probably make another entrance here. Just so they can loop around so you'll be able to kind of if you're in this room you can run this way and now you're in full of equipment and yeah that's the way it's going to work all right and we're just going to mirror this room for now okay there we go now we'll cut that off now we can work on this being an equipment room i feel like this might end up being the mess hall or something food food canteen i don't know i don't know i i, I love hearing your guys thoughts on this uh but let's go ahead and let's make this an equipment room what we can do is actually make some sort of like workbench do like a workbench like right here we have like the you have the ability to kind of like work on something. It's kind of like behind the counter. We can do some shelves back here, a bunch of equipment, and we'll do a wall here of equipment too. Equipment. All right. So the first thing I want is a couple fire extinguishers because that's what we're working on here. So I think what we're just gonna do is the fire stuff today. Fire equipment. So we'll do some extinguishers there. Do I need more than that? One, two, three. We've got one, two, three, four. Probably need some down in the engine room. I think three might be enough. Let's find the, we'll do a backup hose here. We can do a hose like that and a hose like that. That's good. Now I want to find the firefighting equipment. We'll do two side by side like that. Now I want some first aids because that is always needed. So we'll do a row on the top of first aid. And then what else can we use here? Since we're doing safety stuff, I feel like an ox, a couple oxygen mask along the bottom. That would be good for breathing. Maybe an empty slot in case we're already carrying something like a rope. That could be good. I think that'll be good. And then we can come in and put some other equipment here if we feel the need to. Uh, but I think that's just going to work right now for fire equipment. I think that's enough. Uh, we got a couple hoses, extra fire extinguishers. We've got fire extinguishers all over the place. Uh, we can always put more. We can always come in here and just make this like a little fire extinguisher section here. Like this would be easy. Just we can do it right now. Boom. Fire extinguisher. There. Now that's safe. All right. So that's cool. Um, I'm going to call, let's, you know what, we're, we're doing it everywhere. Let's go ahead and put a fire extinguisher in the bridge here. And I might just, I'm gonna put it right here. This feels like a good little spot. Tuck it in right there. Uh, so we got two, I'm gonna put two fire extinguishers on the bridge. Double it up. Perfect. We got one on the bridge. Do we have one on this floor here? No. So we'll put one right by the door. There we go. Right by that door. Uh, it should cover this floor. We probably won't be using that floor a whole lot. This floor is good. You'll come in to wait. You come in here and then you come in here to get equipment. Okay, cool. Um, maybe one in the server room just for safety's sake. Uh, we'll put them at the end of the halls here, just like that. All right, cool. I think fire, fire and safety is done right now. We'll probably put, uh, you know, I say that. Let's come down here. We're gonna need one more in the engine room. We'll put this next to the so-called breaker panel here. There we go. And we'll probably end up putting another system in here. Uh, something we can just flip a switch and it'll spray water in case our engines do cut on. But with a new system like that, we're also gonna have to put some sort of bilge system in for this. Uh, one that's not gonna suck the air out of us, out of our boat as well. Uh, can I remove some of these blocks? Is that, nope, 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 that's, nope, nope, that's our ladder. Okay, that needs to be there. And I kinda wanna paint this so this doesn't look so terrible. There we go, cool. All right, so I'm calling fire systems done. Uh, I feel like I got a lot done today with that. Uh, let's spawn this back in. Let's go ahead and just double check everything. Where is it? Okay, there it is. So we've got fire at the back here, which is nice. Uh, we walk around front. We've got, so, oops, I didn't mirror it there. That's fine. Fire up front. We've got fire on both sides here. Fire on the stairs. 
Uh, if we come up, when we run in here, we've got fire extinguisher here. We're down here. We've got a fire station here, which is nice. So we can do water. We can spray. Perfect. That's good. We come in here. No matter which way we come, we can run in. And we've got a nice little storage closet. We've got our server room we can maintain. This will be our equipment room. Yep, come in here, do some tinkering, build stuff, whatever you need to do, repair and grab some stuff. Yeah, cool. I think that's going to work. Uh, I might tinker with the, the fire hoses here just to get these a little more accurate, but I think these are pretty good. Uh, with somebody doing this, uh, shooting a boat, I might add a little bit more to the function block so that when we're looking up here, we can kind of see, still see what's going on. But we're also going to have a bunch of cameras on this, so... Who knows? Maybe we can actually put a little flip switch on this as well and then just have this where we can control this with the arrow keys as well. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you 100%. If you are enjoying the uh, recovery ship build, let me know with a uh, comment down below. Thumbs up. And uh, yeah, we will see you guys in the next one.